Now, you also need mixers and stuff like that in a synthesizer. And uh, in this uh, system, uh, I have chosen to uh, use a, a matrix system. And uh, this area here is, uh, is, a, is a matrix, an active matrix. And active matrix means that uh, all inputs and outputs and cross points are buffered, so they don't influence each other. Uh, there are several things that you can do with this. Uh, basically, what you have here on top are outputs. And what you have here to the left are inputs. So we have six inputs and four outputs. And we have a set of cross points between inputs and outputs. So for instance, if this goes to the amplifier, if I put this one here and I take an audio signal, then uh, uh, I can use the audio signal to put it into an input and I can connect these inputs by a stereo plug where actually the tip and the ring are uh, soldered together. Because these are stereo jacks, the input signal is amplified and distributed to all the tip connectors on the stereo jacks and then the ring connectors of the stereo jacks in a column are all connected to a mixer and that the output of that mixer is on the output connector of that uh, column. So now with this very simple contraption if I put it in here you hear immediately that we have a sound. Uh, if I uh, have this uh, contraption here plugged in, then I can just plug in any cable in any place that is somewhere in the same uh, column or row and it doesn't really influence anything else. Now if I would like to mix two signals, then I can set a second input connected to the output of another oscillator and then take uh, for instance not a plug with the tip and the ring connected but I take a, a stereo cable and I connect it to something else. Uh, you have to sort of realize that these uh, cross points are exactly the same as insert connectors on most mixing desks. And uh, the idea of uh, if you know how to work with insert connectors on a mixing desk, then uh, you will grasp this right away and uh, because it's very convenient. For instance, if I want to add another signal, I can just connect a stereo cable in here and I connect the other side of the stereo cable to basically uh, uh, a knob here to the top and, and now I can set the volume on that node. I can take this plug out, put in a stereo jack and connect it to another knob and now I can just mix two signals with the two knobs here. But can you invoke and control those knobs as well? Uh, yes, okay. if you use VCA and uh, we have that. Because normally on a mixing desk you would use your insert point to insert an effect before the fader. For instance, a compressor or a, a, a something, whatever. Uh, basically, what you can do here, you can do the same, because let's say, well, I want to also have voltage control of that node. Then I can take the stereo jack and put it, connect it to a voltage controlled amplifier. And uh, there is, uh, 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 two 
voltage controlled amplifiers here and both are bipolar, meaning that you can uh, uh, make the signal positive, but you can also, in the middle it's silent, and if you go to the left, actually you invert the signal, which you don't hear, but you can see in the sound file that it actually inverts. Now, these VCAs can be uh, modulated, for instance, by uh, uh, the triangle wave from the second uh, tri uh, triangle oscillator and uh, or from the envelope generator and uh, the interesting thing about uh, bipolar VCAs is that uh, if you have a very little bit of uh, modulation uh, signal and uh, you open, you hear that you go to there. You get amplitude modulation. But if you go a little bit to the left, You get a very interesting effect because now we actually sort of sync the envelope signal uh, below the negative level and the thing that comes below the negative level will sort of re-amplify the sound bit with the first revased and it sounds a little bit like you have a, a little bit of echo on your sound. Now if you want to sort of modulate this effect of syncing this thing, all we have to do is add a little bit of LFO signal to the modulation signal. So we have to process the modulation signal with the LFO signal. So now what I can do, I can just take out the uh, envelope signal, put it to an input and take a plug and say, well, this output is going to be my modulation signal. And we get exactly the same effect back. But now I can add to this signal through the matrix, for instance, I can take an LFO signal, but that LFO signal needs to be uh, 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 attenuated by a knob a little bit. So I can now say, well, it goes to here, so I put a potentiometer on this node here to set the level of the LFO. and. Now you hear that it starts to move. And you hear that you can create interesting rhythmic effects in your sounds here. This shows how powerful this matrix system is because you can take outputs of the matrix and put them back into inputs again and add them with other signals and sort of sometimes reroute the signal three or four times through a matrix because it, before it comes to the final output. Okay. Another interesting thing about this matrix is that if you take a mono cable, so a cable with a, with a mono plug, uh, then and you put it into the matrix, for instance, on this LFO, then uh, what happens is that you will have the LFO signal that is input here, repeated on the tip output of here. But the ring input 
on the node is now short circuited to ground through the sleeve of the cable of the jack. That means that the ring input will not add to this output because it is grounded. But you will have the full signal buffered available here, so I can just take this and put it into any function. and recycle the signal again. So basically the matrix also acts as a multiple. Basically six multiples with four outputs. And over here is one VCO now. Being yeah. yeah, one VCO, one LFO, one envelope and uh, the bip bipolar VCA on the modulation signal. So whatever outputs you have left here, you don't use for any sort of node processing, are multiple outputs of the signal that goes in. And uh, so you don't really need an extra multiple thing with it, it's already all in here, all in one. And once you get to know how to work with it, uh, which is relatively quick, because it's quite straightforward to use, uh, it's great. <laughs>